the yeast to hybrid system tries to prove that a protein interacts with another protein given the expression of a particular gene which will only happen as a indirect result of these proteins interacting with each other so how these uh, how this process works is that you create your at protein x and protein y uh, one is called a bait protein the other one is called a prey protein and if these two proteins can be uh, created in separate vectors for example that you create these uh, in separate bacteria and then you uh, bring these uh, or express these uh, plasmids in uh, a yeast organism you will be able to uh, see the presence of these proteins inside this yeast system now you want to see if these particular proteins can um, affect the gene expression inside the yeast in such a way that you can confirm the presence of this interaction so you have a presence of a hybrid protein which is a binding domain protein and you have a presence of an activation domain protein so your uh, bacterial plasmid at the time of making your proteins you express uh, uh, sorry you create the gene of the binding domain along with the gene of the protein x and for similarly for the protein y which is a prey protein you can uh, develop the activation domain gene as well as the protein y gene so once these uh, two plasmids are expressed inside or these vectors are expressed inside the yeast you can try to see the interaction in such a way that if x and y are actually going to come in contact with each other the binding domain will be able to locate the upstream activation sequence which is the place where it binds to the dna and uh, it will uh, allow the activation domain to um, bring the uh, cell uh, the rna polymerase complex into uh, a transcriptional state so that it can start uh, or it can activate the transcriptional machinery and this will allow your reported gene that is um, some gene that you want to express to uh, start creating some phenotypic changes so that you can confirm that your proteins were indeed interacting so your so in a nutshell your x and y proteins have caused the by by coming in contact with each other they have caused the expression of a reporter gene which has caused a phenotypic change and you can observe that to confirm the presence of this interaction so using this technology you can actually check if perhaps a uh, protein y that is of human origin can interact with say a protein x that may be of non human origin or you can even locate the interaction site of x on y or cre even create a library preparation of uh, either of these proteins the main drawbacks of this kind of a technique is that if you have an auto activating protein x or a bait which can auto activate the particular transcription machinery then your system cannot be tested if it interacts or not because your gene will be expressed regardless you also if there is a high rate of false positivity then you need to ex um, test uh, whether your system is actually working as it should for example you may have um, you can switch the presence of a bait and prey and then see if the uh, particular interaction still gives you the correct result so then your false positive clones will decrease and if you have a false negative clone that means that your prey protein may have been showing some sort of toxicity or a folding defect or some sort of in, uh, instability so you can confirm that interaction with some other independent method so there are multiple types of two hybrid systems and we can go over a few of them so a reverse two hybrid is a modification of this uh, conventional uh, yeast to hybrid system in such a way that the reporter gene that is expressed is conditionally lethal so if your if proteins do indeed interact then your entire uh, colony of this uh, the yeast colony will die because they will not be able to survive in that particular media there also exists a method called protein fragment complementation in which you try to reconstitute a particular protein together so uh, if your um, bait and prey protein are interacting with each other both of them will be uh, built um, attached to two halves of the same 
protein say beta galactosidase so if your bait and prey are going to interact with each other this particular protein will combine uh, and reform its uh, original state and that will probably give us some indications for example it can be a fluorescent uh, protein then it will be able to give us light and then we can detect that this particular system in itself can be seen in the example of uh, reconstitution of the ubiquitin uh, ligase enzyme so what happens is that you try to split the ubiquitin protein in such a way that one end is will be called the n terminal subunit and one will be a c terminal subunit and you attach the r ura3 reporter to the c terminal subunit now the basis of this uh, system will be that you attach your bait protein to the n terminal and you attach your uh, uh the prey protein to the c terminal and you try to see if the bait and protein interact with each other if they do interact then the rura3 reporter which is uh, also joined to the c terminal will be cleaved off and this will be able to remove it from the degradation process and the this particular phase colony will be able to survive